guys and welcome to the chroma side of youtube today i am going to uh do another melody style puddle pour um when i say melody style i mean the fact that she does not add silicone she mixes her paints in a certain way to where she doesn't have to and as it sits and dries she doesn't torch, she doesn't do anything to it. It just automatically does the changing on the canvas. So, um, my, this time, the reason why I'm doing this again is I have two separate videos I wanna film. I wanna film if it has anything to do with the colors you use or the brands of paints you use. Last week, I posted a picture in my Shabby Chic, or posted a video in my Shabby Chic of this one particularly. And I used different brands of paint and I used a different brand of pouring medium. It did not give me the changes I wanted. So I'm gonna go back to the Artist Loft brand of paint and I'm going to use the La uh, Liquitex pouring medium. Uh, a tape, uh, so I use about an ounce, well, depending on the cup, I use one part paint one tablespoon of pouring medium, and then water to drippy consistency. So this is the painting. D don't get me wrong, I love that pink painting, but, um, and dude, check out the gold. Like, tell me you don't love that gold. But, um, but I do want change. I want it to change when I pour it. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I have all Artist Loft, colors that I have mixed up in Melody's usual style. Um, now, I wanted like a red and yellow painting because nine times out of ten, whatever I do red and yellow, it, they all just, all the colors just kind of, in the flip cup, they all kind of mix together too much or um, things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a red and yellow painting in this style and see how it turns out. Um, I need that back. I set that away, but I need it back. So what I'm doing now, you guys, is I am making sure that my canvas is level. Perfect. Okay. Um, so I have Artist Loft White, that seems good. Now, when I tell you these colors, I'm going to check their consistency because the paints do thicken up pretty, fairly quickly. Artist Loft Gold, this could use a little bit more water. Now let's see, where's the originals? Artist Loft White. Um, white, guys, that is so not white. Artist Loft Red. These are all flow acrylics from Artist Loft. So they are a little bit, they're, they're not as thick as the tubes. Okay, Artist Loft Yellow. I think this one's neon yellow. And then these two colors. This one is the Artist Loft Red with a little bit of yellow added. And this one's the Artist Loft Yellow with a little bit of red added. Because I wanted orange, but I didn't have any of the orange in the Flow Acrylics. <coughs> Alright guys, so let's get pouring. Now, lately I've done puddle pours where there are two puddles. This time I want to kind of do more than two puddles and see if I like that effect. I really love the ones with two puddles. But we'll see. So I think I'm going to start with this orange.
Okay, I think that's good. Passing my finger through because I really like that effect. And I'm actually going to do it two times. Okay. And here goes nothing. Pull it down this way. Pull it back up that way. And I see a few clumps. Get my tweezers and grab those out. I don't know why my white is clumping on me. Okay guys, well I'm going to leave this be and let's see what happens. I already see a lot of cells popping up right here which I'm extremely excited about. So without further ado, let's see. Okay guys, it's been about 45 minutes since I um, started uh, the time lapse and uh, about five minutes in, I'm sure you saw me come and shift it a little bit because I wanted a little more white and maybe a little more um, uh, effects happening. Um, however, <laughs> I will say this, uh, the red has definitely taken over. I see a little bit of the yellow and a little bit of the white, but the red has definitely taken over. Um, I don't know if this is going to be a painting that I will keep or paint over or even use as a background for something, uh, but uh, it did do what I wanted it to do. So I feel like the test worked. Um, I think next time I'll use a lot more light colors and a lot less red because red does seem to take over. Um, but I will take you guys down and let you guys see it. Okay. <clears throat> so as you can see, there are tons of effects happening in this painting. Um, here where all that red and white mixed and then there's a little bit of the yellow I don't know if you can see that very well and then the white um, if this changes anymore I will definitely be sure to uh, show you all but I think overall this has been a, a decent experiment I do have some of the paint left over and uh, I'm going to do another one uh, with blues and greens and see how that works with the exact same mix. In fact, I mix them all at the same time. Uh, my, I, may, bleh, I may have to add a little more water to them because they have been sitting. 
but uh, overall, I think this is going to be neat. Uh, I want to see if it's just red that takes over like this or if um, my mix is a little different today. But I am glad to see that I did get some uh, different effects. It did change over time. And that was what I ultimately was going after. So uh, I'm going to move this uh, over to the drying rack and uh, start filming the next one. I hope you really enjoyed this video, and uh, if you did, please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and the bell for notifications when I post new videos. Uh, yeah, so I think this test has um, really, uh, really been successful. Uh, I think if I ever want to do the Melly D style color changing um, puddle pour, I will have to uh, use her mix. And um, if I find something else, I might even end up trying that again. But overall, I think this is a uh, this is something that I'll do again. Anyway, have a great day. I'm glad you guys stopped in, and please be inspired. Bye bye, y'all. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed what you just watched please hit that subscribe button give me a thumbs up for a like and hit the bell that'll give you notifications when I post new videos I really enjoyed painting today and I hope you enjoyed watching I hope you and get inspired to do all types of things <laughs> have a wonderful day bye bye y'all